Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I tinker with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the link in the comment section below. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. This video also has tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So, thank you very much for watching. Just arrived LKQ Mount Erie. Looks like somebody brought a 745 turbo up here to be crushed. What a shame. So, don't know what's going on there. That may be the crushing machine. We're going to see if they got some special parts in there. I heard there's a manual in here and an 04C70 with those special BBS wheels and some jewels. So, let's see if this stuff is still here. Man, look like they hit this A50 hard. It's only been here three weeks. Well, I know that C70 gonna be stripped down. But I'm gonna go check it out anyway. Got an old Jaguar out here. Look like it actually has good light lenses. 72 Jaguar XJ6. Somebody junked this thing with a bunch of old light lenses on it. See what else it got in here. Uh, not much inside. Big old engine out there in there. So they got the rose letter. I'm on G. I don't know how that works. But they got mm. cars grouped 10 at a time. So we got 10, 20, 30, 40. I think I'm looking for car 45. I see the hood open up there. The grill looks missing, so that's not promising. Yes, sir. Somebody hit this thing right. One of the light lenses were busted. Oh, crap. They left part of the headlight here. Huh. I wonder if somebody uh, freaking took a headlight apart. It looks like somebody took a headlight apart. That wasn't smart. <sighs> so they took the wheels and the headlights. The two best things. I got you. Man, this thing might have had dying audio. They got all that stuff. They left the third speaker in there. Look like we got a shift knob here. Ah, I can't see if it had a switch there, but it looks like it may have had that audio shift switch. Uh, I don't feel a switch for the subwoofers. Looks like that might be the other part of the light. I might grab that. We'll try to get this shift knob off too. These sun visors normally worth something. They're still there, surprisingly. Found this inside the car. Looks like pieces of a jewel headlight, but I don't see nothing on Volvo or Hella on it. Makes me a little leery. But uh guess I'll grab this stuff anyway. Probably better than what somebody has if they can incorporate that in their current headlight. This thing has a pretty clean sticker in here. I wonder if this car had been in a front end collision and had that part replaced before. Who knows? That cap's got a split in it. Wonder if this thing came in here because it was overheated. Alright, time to move on. Finally found the word hella in there. So, i go with that. Well, sad to say, look like some gorilla beat me to this car. Tore up the center pocket. Tore up the center console stuff. Maybe this was already busted up a little bit. 
the shifter knob is missing the cap. That was not missing in the picture. I'm going to say the butchers got that too. Tore up the armrest. Looked like probably to get a good cup holder. The only thing good on this car left is the probably the flywheel transmission and the pedals. So I'm going to drop this stuff, grab the pedals. I guess this is probably good too. That collar piece. I'm going to grab that. Slick top. How about that? Ah, that looks busted. Crap. Man, they gave this car a workout. Doo doo doo. Ah. Like the sway bar is busted. A few other things going on. Busted trim back here. Had a few parts back here. Headlight, whatnot. Like the tool kit may still be here. It's always fun to find. Black seat trim. If that's not busted, I might take that too. It don't look like these are rusted. These look like they're in good shape these door window seals all right let me get these shift pedals and get out of the way got a couple of these for the wagon in the junkyard loaned the guy my tool that's how I got it back wow working fine yesterday the death of another P8 cool heated core leak gotta get rid of those old heater cores people leak your cooling out blow your engine whoever beat me to this 850 did not have YouTube they even tore the molding off the side of it didn't know how to get that off turn people on to YouTube people man I got the pedals the trim around the shifter the extra deep armrest pocket and I'm gonna get a couple of clips off the lines then I'm out I'm gonna leave the transmission slave cylinder stuff and the uh, flywheel for the next guy I got plenty of that yeah I'm gonna leave that clip there and get that one out Looks like this 850 got a pretty new alternator on it. Trying to get parking brake parts off this 04 XC70. Got to get these dang uh, calipers off. And I need that clip right there. I pulled the handle and the system works. So hopefully this stuff will be good. Now I released the handle and it's released. Should be good to go. Ah, this is interesting. It has some real drum brake stuff on there. But, I'll figure it out. Let me try to get all this stuff out of here. Do -do -do. Spring, spring, brace, spring, clip, spring, clip. That's a lot. First thing you may want to do is push this in, turn it a quarter of a turn, and try to work it out. It hooks into a bracket and when you turn it you got to work it out of the slot that it's in Then you release this spring unhook it unhook this spring pads come off then this thing you turn it all the way over and it just unhooks from the cable and then the cable pulls out from the back I turn this clip like this pushed it in Force it back that way, push it out that way, and it came out. Now to get this off. Deep, 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 deep. Try to pull this out a little bit. Open this up and just ho unhook that down, and it comes right out. Crap, I don't know if I got that good. It was in there like this. 
I pull this out like this and then I unhook this down and it came right out of the cable. Now the cable just pulls out of the back of the hub. And it's got a clip on that brace back there. Then I gotta follow them up to see where they go once they go up there. But this actually comes off of here if you wanna pull this off of the cable. So to get the cable out, I wedged the cable up and then it pulled out. <clears throat> I unclipped that piece down there. Now, when you have the cable out, this metal piece will come off the end of that cable. So if you order a cable only, it probably won't come with this piece here on it. That cable will push out this way to release this from it. But I think I need the cables. So I'm going to see if I can follow these cables up, see where they disconnect it. Looks like I got to get the center console out to get those cables out. So there's a couple screws there. I'm going to pull this out, pull this trim off, uh, unfasten a couple other pieces of plastic, see if I can get this thing out of here. There's two T25s right there. Use a bone tool, pry that out. You got a couple screws there, T25s. Ah, let me pry this up. You got something plugged in there. And let me see where I go after that. Pried it up. Had a clip holding it there. Clip holding it there. Four along the bottom. Pull that up and off if you want. Now, I should be able to pull the center console up and out of here. I got a bunch of junk on the back of it. Let me get that crap off the back of it. Release these two side panels. Turn those things vertical. Pull them away from the center console, slide them back. They fall off. Now I don't think anything's holding this on. I could be wrong. Maybe huh? some wires on this back panel or something. Let me open that up, see if I can see what's going on there. Or I'm just gonna tear it out and tell you what happened. I lift it up and there is a wire connection there. I'm gonna unplug that. But as you can see, I can see my two cables for my parking brake. I'm gonna undo the parking brake and unhook those cables. Should be able to pull them out of the floor. I'm gonna look under this carpet and see if there's anything else I need to do to get them under the car. Pop this out on the back. I don't know if it matters if you pry from the bottom or the top. Look like you should pry from the bottom. Unhook it on the top. Then you should get that wire connection in here. Unplug that. Anyway, as you can see, I have my parking brake cables here. I can unhook those. Now I'm going to look under this carpet and see what I got to do to get them through the floor. This cable has a grommet there. It just apparently just pulls out like that. And then in the floor, there's just a, a grommet there. Looks like you could just pull it out of the floor there so I'm gonna push that through then go into the car and pull them through the floor of the car here's the cable system here coming up this way so it's under this heat shield I'm gonna move that out of the way then I can see the grommet pushing through the floor then I'm gonna pull it out there and there's a bolt holding a bracket there the one on the other side is already loose I should be good to go Messing with this 04 XC90, I'm pulling parts off this 06. It had two T25 screws. I got them out. Then I pulled the unit down. This funny washer fell out. Then this cap fell off. Then under that, there's two solenoids, looks like. So I pulled those. But I'm having a heck of a time getting these connectors. So my buddy Bill told me to get one of these screwdrivers, like the tool truck give them, pry it in there and pop these loose. So let me see if I can get this connector loose and I'll tell you how I did it. You take this little screwdriver, pry it in on the latch like that. And when I pry it in, I heard a pop, a little click. That unlatched it. Now it should just pull right off. And it pulled off. There you have it.
Oh, the back of this unit fell off. Let me put that back on there. I guess that comes off pretty easy. Anyway, there's also an oil pump there. I'm going to leave that. But uh, FCP sells oil pump rebuild kits for some reason. Next, we're taking the brake booster pump with the switch. So I moved the air box, unplugged the switch. Goes down to the pump. I pulled the air box support out and there's two 10 millimeters I think I can hit from there and it looks like the plug is down there. So let me pull these 10 millimeters, get the pump lifted up, figure out how to get that plug loose right there. That plug. Hitting those 10 millimeter mounting screws, I was getting nowhere. So I pulled the three bolts that hold the uh, tray in. Now I'm going to hit this bolt here. I'm going to move that ground, hit this bolt here that's holding this bracket on. I don't know if that's the only one or not. But I'm going to hit this bolt, see if this thing will lift up and out of there. Had another bolt down there on the side of it right there. I was able to get this on there, then I couldn't get it out. Anyway, finally got it where it lifted up. Now I can see how to unplug it. Probably the easiest way to get it out. Push this in, pull the wire harness out. That's the pump assembly. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to test this before I leave the stomping grounds here. So I'm going to take some of this wire harness with me so I can test the pump. Looking at an 06 XC70. Look at those jump seats, man. Those things are cute. I guess just some floor panel that normally goes down here. Even got a headrest that goes up. Somebody dropped the 05. Oh, poor moose. In the junkyard. About four hours later, I come back to the car, four and a half hours. Some guy said he just closed my back door. He said my back door was open just like this. If I left this freaking door open, it's been open for freaking four and a half hours. Nobody closed it. It's amazing. Amazing. Went to the store for Diane. Found a Home Depot. Got my tools exchanged. Husky Boy Lifetime Warranty with harassment. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.